Hello and welcome to the Old Golden Black for this little something different. Today I'm going to be predicting the World Cup. Now I've already gone through all of the group games because it took forever and ever and ever to do so. You can see the groups there and I'll just quickly show you the results that I've put in. I mean really the group stage there's quite a few uh, boring games, quite a few draws and if you want to just look at these games in a little bit more detail you can pause the video as it goes along to just see uh, what I thought. Um, I don't think there was any real shocks to be honest. Uh, I haven't actually looked at how the group stages have finished yet. I'll do that in a short while once I've shown you all of these results here. Um, to be honest, I think there's going to be quite a few dull games, quite a few dead games uh, in this World Cup. So there we go. I've gone through all of that, so I'm going to generate the next stage. So the group results are as follows Egypt winning their group over Uruguay. Uh, on gold difference. I think the Salah factor might play a part there. Uh, I've got Portugal to win all three of their games to beat Spain in the, in that game which is really the decider in Group B. Uh, France and Denmark going through from Group C. Uh, Argentina and Croatia from Group D. Brazil and Serbia from Group E although Switzerland I think possibly could sneak out of that one. Uh, Germany and Korea going through in that one although Mexico again could easily, uh, but in fact, any of those four teams could, any of those three teams could get the second place in that group. Uh, Belgium and England going through in Group G, and Group H, Colombia and Poland. Although, again, that group is wide open in my mind. So, the last 16 games are as follows: We've got France and Croatia, which of course was the semi-final in 1998. Egypt, Spain, Brazil, Korea, uh, Belgium, Poland, Portugal, Uruguay, Argentina, Denmark. Germany, Serbia and Colombia against England. So we're going to quickly whiz through these now. So there we go. I've gone for France, Spain, Brazil, Belgium, Portugal, Argentina, Germany and Colombia to be, to get through to the court final stages. I think if this was the lineup for the last 16, it would be quite an entertaining last 16. I think uh, really the only shocks for, at this stage would be Egypt uh, and Korea. So the court finals of the weekend of the 6th and the 7th of July. These would, I think, if this was the court final lineup, it'd be quite entertaining, to be honest. So, uh, France against Spain. So, first court final here, France against Spain. I think for me, I would go for France because of their, of Griezmann and Pogba, I think are key factors in that. Spain, a little bit of a transition sort of time for them at the moment. So I'm gonna go for France to win that game. Brazil against Belgium. Brazil, although they played very badly in the last World Cup, uh, in the latter stages, in this tournament I think they're going to perform a lot better. Belgium, it's their sort of golden generation coming towards the end of its cycle, really, uh, with the next World Cup probably coming a bit too late for some of those players. But I think I'm going to go for Brazil in a tight game, they're going to win 2 1. Portugal against Argentina. If this game was to happen, it would be talked about for ages leading up to it, the battle between Ronaldo and Messi. Uh, and it's a very, very difficult one to call. But with the way that I've looked at this World Cup, Portugal so far have won every game. Argentina, I don't think they've got an amazing squad. They didn't qualify uh, very well. They only just about did it. So I'm going to go for Portugal win, a tight win, 1-0. Germany against Colombia there, we've got... I think that you can't look past the Germans for that and I think they'll beat Colombia quite easily. So the semi-finals now. France against Brazil and Portugal against Germany. What a mouth-watering prospect that would be on the Tuesday and the Wednesday. France against Brazil, that was of course the 1998 final. Personally, I think that Brazil will get the better of France in this game, but I think it might go to extra time, possibly even penalties. But they've both got very very good players and it's, that would be a very exciting game so I'm going to go for 2-1 to Brazil and then in the f other semi-final I think you can't bet against Germans when they get to the semi-finals they are brutally efficient and they get the job done almost all the time and I think in this case disp I think Cristiano Ronaldo and co would have been a stretch too far for them and I'm going to go for a 1-0 win to Germany. 
So that means in the final we've got Brazil against Germany, 2002 World Cup final again. Repeat of the 2014 semi final, which of course Germany won 7 1. But in this case, I'm going to go for a Brazil win. Brazil got a very exciting looking squad for me, and I think that Brazil are going to come out winners, and you can get odds of 4 to 1 on that happening. Uh, if you're interested in doing this, you can find I'll leave a link in the description. It's at thesportsman.com. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know what you thought of my predictions. Am I even close? Do you think England will do better than I've suggested? They have said that they're going to go out to Colombia in the uh, round of 16. I think there's a good chance that they could go a little bit further, but if they were to win through in that game, they'd play against Germany in the quarterfinals, and you would probably better get better against England in that game there. Let me know your thoughts. Don't forget to drop a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you soon. Goodbye.